Hello friends, welcome back to episode 36 of The Kennels. I think this is episode 36, um, week 54. It's the breakfast uncertainty principle coming in strong again. Anyway, um, I made the grave mistake. I mean, I made a pretty grave mistake last time, as you can see, but I made the grave mistake between recordings of unplugging my microphone so that I can play rock band, um, because I live in 2009. And, um, and forgetting to write down my audio settings, so when they reset to default, I then had to spend nearly two hours trying to get them back up to speed. They're still nothing like what they were before, um, but you know what? They're different, and a change is as good as a rest. Let's check the stagecoach. No, I don't want... I don't even want you, Bordet. I don't even want you. I want, I'm looking for, like, a high-level Handmaster right now, like a level four. Um, I'm not sure why I'm going to the survivalist. Um, as you can see... We had problems last time. If you didn't watch the last episode, um, it was it was just terrible. <laughs> you know what? I'm surprised you're here now, having seen the last episode. But uh, we can't uh, can't dwell on stuff like that. Let's take Rue to the sanitarium. Let's take Rue to the sanitarium. Am I audio peaking? I don't think I'm audio peaking. I apologise if I am. Um, I mean, the fits actually doesn't even look that bad. But I think I'd rather cure the fits than spotted fever right now. And most of our level 5 and 6 dudes are out of action. We could do a long dungeon. Let's see what's available to us. We're doing fine for gold. Better for um, uh, uh, heirlooms. Much better for heirlooms, in fact. Um, I, I apologize. I think I might be peeking, but I'm not going to stop and check now. It seems basically fine. I don't want any of these trinkets. <laughs> um, do, oh, I, don't, I do want that trinket. I've already got one. I don't know what bumper crop is. Is that like... Food is free. Next time is Abomination. For the nation. I think we're going to get the second spiked collar. We've already got one, I believe. Yeah, we've already got one, but I mean, I, I ideally want four in the not too distant future. It's a medium level five dungeon. Senapon has rabies. He can go in rank three. Jail can go in rank four. May need to unlock some new skills with these two. Parthenay can go in rank two. And Facebee, I think, is a rank one. He's a rank one, dude. Amazing. Amazing. All right, let's, let's trinket them up. We're not going to go straight away. But just before I forget, you know. So you can have the camouflage cloak and the cudgel weight looted from the corpse of our fallen comrade. You can have these guys. Um, yeah, I don't think it matters too much. These are all good trinkets. Uh, rank four has... Uh, what am I? What, what was I thinking about? Rank four. There was something important for. Oh no, rank three. Yeah, okay, rank three. He has rabies, which gives him much more damage. I don't think any of these trinkets have accuracy on them. I'd like to give him an accuracy trinket, but it's not really worth taking out these two awesome trinkets for it. I think. Uh, Handmasters are fairly accurate anyway, I believe. Anyway. So Facebook. Okay, it's rank one through to rank four. Okay. Hopefully this shouldn't take too much gold, but I think I'm going to have to upgrade some weapons and armor as well. So maybe I shouldn't be spending money on the... I don't know, the protection debuff is so good and the accuracy is important as well. Maybe I shouldn't be spending too much on Cry Havoc here. Cry Havoc is one that I, I don't think I need to worry too much about. It's pretty much just a filler. We're going to be fine for upgrades though. The next thing I want to... Ah, fine, okay. The next thing I wanted to... All right, I didn't think I could afford that. <laughs> Sun cast fallacy. A sharper sword, sure. A stronger shield. Um, do we want to get rid of any of this stuff? A soldier's life. I mean, maybe I get rid of the sun ring. I don't see myself ever using it. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's not too difficult to get hold of again. So. Uh, I don't think that actually took effect. I don't. What am I even doing here? I don't think that actually took effect. Um, I don't think that takes effect until next week. Let's find out, shall we? We want to upgrade this next anyway. Okay, no, it does take effect fall, instantly. But their knowledge um, on. So yeah, I should have done that first, but you know what? There's only a week in it. It's not necessarily terrible. But it's not good. Um, not good at all. I, I'm going to need to get rid of some of this for provisions. So it was actually really bad to do that. That was actually terrible. What was I thinking? Uh, the stun amulet I'm probably not going to use. I can always get another Unholy Slayer's Ring and another Bleed Amulet. If I do want to use them, it's not too big a deal, really. 
all of this stuff I don't want to sell because uh, um, even though most of them aren't useful, it'll, it'll increase my chance of getting different trinkets in the future, which could be useful. Let's check the survivalist. We've got a hand's watch. Uh, well, they all have hand's watch. We've got a, a therapy, not a therapy dog. I'll release the hand. All of these guys are looking sweet. I think we're ready. I think we are ready. If we lose these guys, though, it's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough. Because, um... Uh, we won't have enough gold to, to kit another group out before we send them out, so... We'll take 8 torches. We're going to take 12, uh, 16 torches. I haven't eaten today, am I? My sugar's a little low. I'm not really thinking about what I'm doing. Which I'm just now realising is probably a mistake. In the Warrens? We'll take 2 herbs. We're down to under 1,000 gold, so we're going to need some serious... Some serious booty from this, uh, from this dungeon. You know, I sat down and I thought, you know, before breakfast I'll sit down and record an episode of Darkest Dungeon. Really into it, really enjoying it, and um, then spent like an hour and a half configuring my audio settings. <laughs> and um, uh, and uh, now I'm real hungry. <laughs> oh dear. You know what, we'll soldier through it. But the dead Kennedys say, you work hard with a gun in your back for a bowl of rice a day. Luckily, I'm on more than a bowl of rice a day. Okay, this dude, oh my word, what a, what a baptism of fire here. This dude is a guy I've never actually fought. I know he's the new champion dungeon for the Warrens. And I know he's got a bad reputation in the words of Thin Lizzy. So I think we're going to nuke him down. We can't even stun him because he's in the back line. I don't know what he does. Never fought him before in my life. I'm gonna nuke him down before I even nuke down the um, the heaver because vomit is a stress attack. Oh wow! That's what you do. That's pretty nasty. Oh, and it stuns. Shit! Wow, you guys are awful. I don't like you at all. Uh, let's see if we can stun it. We can. We've got a pretty good chance of stunning it. A decisive. Yeah, and 8 damage is, is not nothing. Wow, that was just terrible. I didn't enjoy that. <laughs> it's only a medium. I'm not horrendously worried. And it's bleeding, so we only need to do, um, what, 17 damage? Let's do 17 damage. Wow, sweet. Okay, oh, you can still vomit from rank 1. It doesn't come up that often. <laughs> it doesn't come up that often at all. Oh, it fits. That's like a speed increase. Yeah, it's the that's the one we just cured on, on our other dude. Okay, we'll stun him then. 100%. Uh, actually, it's 109%, I think you're fine. <laughs> yeah, cool. Don't want to nuke him down. I'm actually worried about damage. They've got some protection going on, but they also, they bleed. Got a fairly small chance to bleed. I'm not going to use the, the treats. So I think we hands Harry here. Great, yep. Yeah. Trying to get some bleed on. Um, but maybe that was maybe that was a bad idea. But also maybe it wasn't though. Wow, you're so dodgy. But I mean, I guess I have to just kill you now. <laughs> I was hoping to get some bleed damage onto it, but that's okay. Just have to take the hits, I guess. Holy shit. It's getting worse. Um, da, da, no, okay, 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 okay. A miss is as good as a mile, right? This is a real problem. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Yeah, I mean, I... I to go back to the to the... To what I've talked about a lot, and I, I swear this is gonna be the last time I talk about it, at least this episode. I do apologize if the audio seems to be bad. I um I did I did tweak my settings and um seemed to be peaking a lot, but I thought I fixed it, but I can see myself at least getting close to peaking quite quite often here. So I do apologize. I did do a test recording, but it's it's not always uh, not always indicative of what it's gonna be like in a in a real setting. When thing we know when the times get tough. If only treasure uh, could do I want that? Flow. I definitely want the food. Other world food is like really important. I, I wish I'd been able to loot this properly. 
Um, I don't think I want the brawler's gloves. I don't think they're particularly useful. Unless I would rather have that than the camouflage cloak. But I mean, Handmaster in position one does basically nothing anyway. Just, well, I mean, it doesn't do any damage, just stuns, really. The occasional hands, Harry. No, I'm gonna leave it. Okay. I think we're in for an early camp. Not here, but maybe by the time we get down to the bottom left corner. I think I want to be camping. I don't want the, the buffs from, from Hound's Watch and the other one um, that I never remember uh, to go to waste because I think they're, they're, they're so useful, just in general, so, so useful. You really want to be making the best use possible out of those two. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Shit, son. Um, right, okay, so the champion does a lot of damage, actually. The Thunderer doesn't do a huge amount. Do I want to just... How can I stun him? I can't really stun him reliably. I can do 44% 44 stun chance. Um, I think I just have to mark him and then nuke him down as much as possible. I will use the treats and maybe, just maybe, we can get him before he has a chance to do anything. That was pretty sweet. He does bleed as well. Fairly low bleed resist. Very low bleed resist. Shouldn't need to use another set of treats, hopefully. Oh, he didn't bleed. Okay, awesome. The treats are such a valuable resource in champion dungeons. And I mean, you know, for all my for all my faults in the game, you know, I'm not necessarily the greatest, darkest dungeon player of all time, but for all my faults, I think I have been improving, especially with regard to using the treats. Um, it's it's almost, almost a meme at this point that no one ever remembers to use the dog treats. So I, I take comfort in the fact that it's definitely not just me. <laughs> um, uh, but that's no excuse, you know, I, this is a challenge run. In a challenge run, you can't afford to make mistakes. You know, I've done my share of challenge runs. I'm actually going to be starting another another challenge run of Final Fantasy X at some point in the future. Final Fantasy X, if you didn't know, I may have talked about this in the past, um, in the series. It is my favourite game of all time. I've got such a soft spot for that game. And... Um, I've already done several challenge runs of it. I've done like a you know only no summons, Tidus only, Auron only. Never done a, a no spear grid run, but I don't really see the need. And um, uh, I really want to start another challenge run of that. So um, so yeah, I'm no I'm no stranger to to the idea that you can't make mistakes in challenge runs. But at the same time, I'm like it's so difficult. <laughs> That's the whole point. It's right there in the name, guys. Uh, I don't really want the portrait. I do want the onyx. But I don't really want to dump anything for it. Maybe I dump the, um... No. No, I don't think I dump anything for it. I think I just get rid of it. We are obviously very short on money. That's the main problem here. Okay, so that's fine. Um, uh, I'll get to this room. At least one battle, obviously, maybe two. Uh, it's probably been a while since I did that. And then we'll count the... Oh, shit. All right. All right, well, you know what? The... Like I said before, a lot of fights get a lot of extra mechanics at high levels. The Collector does not. The Collector is just generally annoying. Uh, but there's no men-at-arms here, so I think I just need to tank these guys. Maybe stun probably a High Woman? Actually, yeah, I think I have to stun a High Woman. Um, and just nuke the Collector down. Because incoming damage is really the biggest deal in a in a four-hand must run, as I've, I've been through countless times. Oh, that was sweet. I'm not going to use the dog treats. I think they're probably going to serve me better elsewhere. Uh, oh, okay. I can stun both highwaymen, probably. Yeah, that's really strong. The collector can't do very much, and the Vestal can only really heal. So I'm, I'm very happy with that. Life steal. Yeah, it's not too much of a problem. Oh, okay. That was a nasty crit, though. That was a nasty crit. And now he's bleeding out. Three damage for five rounds. I haven't got any bandages. This is the part where I really wish I had lick wounds. I've been saying for a little while that lick wounds is actually probably going to be really important for champion dungeons. I said that and kind of just forgot about it. And now I'm now I'm thinking, you know, maybe it would have been a good idea to to take lick wounds um, rather than say guard dog, which I don't use very much, or cry havoc. Stress doesn't seem to be a huge problem. I am going to hand Harry here to kill the Collector because the Vestal can heal him. Okay, yep, yeah, great. 10 out of 10. 
That's just a buff, right? That's not a heal. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's not a problem at all. Cool. Still really wary. Oh. But you know, we always we always knew, right? We always knew that we were going to lose people in level 5 dungeons. It's... Okay. Well, I mean, that was always going to happen, really. Um, it's, it's, it's one of those things that it just... It happens anyway. It's one of those things you've got to come to terms with. If you want to be good at Darkest Dungeon, you've got to accept that you're going to lose people. You're going to lose high-level characters that you, you poured a lot of resources into. It's just... It's going to happen, you know? You've got to, you've got to accept it. You've got to make peace with it. And you've got to try and minimize it where you can, obviously, but accept that it's probably going to happen um, to the point where doing, like, a deathless run is, is a huge achievement for a lot of people. It, would, it certainly would be for me. So, I mean... I'm not... I, I, it sounds like I'm, I'm... I don't care. It's not that I don't care. I just, I, I've made peace with it. I knew it was going to happen as soon as he was bled. So while it is gutting, and it means we're probably not going to make it out of this dungeon alive, although we'll certainly try, it's going to be a tough one. Okay, so she buffs herself and then immediately dies. <laughs> That's okay. Well done, Vestal. I'm actually very worried about Rank 2's stress and health. Okay. Oh, you know what? That is an issue. Uh, so, uh, I'll take the rubies. I, I'll dump the portraits. It's got to happen sooner or later. Um, I will dump the anti-venoms. And I can't really... I, don't, I feel like I can't dump anything else. I'm going to dump the gold. Just 750 gold. Uh, it's, it's rough, yeah. It's rough. We may not be able to make this work, but I, I'd, I'd, I'd so love to. I'm certainly not giving up now. Okay, that's that's fine. No fight here. So we'll eat six. I was going to say eight. Oh, Riff and Pepperoni. Okay, Hounds Watch. Oh, shit. Was he the, he was the dude that had... Um, uh, the other one. <laughs> the other skill. All right. Fine. So we will encourage... We will encourage. Uh, we don't have therapy dog either. He's the only one who has therapy dog. Shit. All right. Um, I guess our man's best friend, which is fine. And our wound care. It's like it's okay. We've still got plenty of food, radiance, so that's great. May we find victory. Yeah, that's fine. Wow, um, so we're doing we're doing a three-man run here. <laughs> it's pretty scary. What are you doing? What? No. Known cheat. Well, that's not too bad. He has got uh, a permanent curious trait, which is obviously awful. Oh Jesus, man. Um, so we'll mark the back line and nuke him down. I think this run has cemented in me that I need to be taking Lick Wounds. Um, I don't... Maybe I don't guard as much as I should. I kind of feel like I never have time to guard. Except occasionally with Rank 1. Uh, so he's not quite dead yet. Need another 2 damage on him. We can pray. Alright. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. I really like this, this recurring motif that you, you've probably seen a few times around. It's, it's all throughout the game. Well, like a monster will open its mouth and then another smaller mouth will come out of it. <laughs> I feel like that's a reference to something. Is it a reference to Alien? I can't remember. I haven't actually seen Alien. Or any of the Alien films. Didn't see Prometheus. I feel like it's a reference to that. I've certainly seen it before. I think I might have seen it in Red Dwarf, actually. Which is, which is probably itself a reference to, to Alien or something like that. Um, can we stun it? We can. Like a two-thirds chance to stun. I seem to be hitting the high rolls today, man. Seems to be going pretty well. The bigger the beast, Turns out it wouldn't have mattered, but shut up. Glory. Shut up! We should be using the dog treats more. There's only, uh, only a couple of rooms ago I was patting myself on the back for using the dog treats. Another quest location. Alright, alright. Can't get rid of it. <laughs> Just wanted to see what would happen, man. 
It's not like this run can get much worse. I'm actually gonna dump the torches. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I do, I do, I, I care deeply. Um, let's get rid of some of this food. Yeah, okay, well, we've eaten to full. If you weren't aware, your characters can only eat um, four food at once. I'm not sure what the criteria are on that resetting. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow, okay. Is only the first test. Nope, you're full. Now it must be carried home. Yeah, no, I was trying to discard it. I'm trying to discard it. Trying to discard it. Why am I trying to discard it? <laughs> okay. Blood sugar's still a little low, man. Spirits are lifted. And okay, we need to check clear. all of these. Curio, 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 curio. Fuck you. Okay. Let's head up here. No, we don't care about the treasure. Let's let's head back here. These two uh, these two paths are almost identical. I love it. I like symmetry. That's pretty good. We may not have another battle. We're probably not going to get to use all the dog treats. Nearly stepped on the trap. You didn't see that. We may actually make this work, and we may actually make this work quite easily. We probably only have a couple of fights left. Maybe not. We may have zero fights left. Don't touch it. Holy water. All right. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. We're fine for torches, right? Yeah, we're fine for torches. No scouting, right. but that shouldn't be an issue. Of safety. Let's throw our, our herbs at this. Wealth beyond yeah, okay, measure. I'm going to get rid of the herbs. We only really wanted Lord them for food. The brave and the You're still full. Alike. I don't think it's camping that resets the fullness counter. Oh, this fight should not be too difficult. Let's stun rank three. I'm actually more worried about stress right now. The reason I'm worried about stress, um, if you if you weren't aware, is because it's it's going to be the main thing that drains gold when I get back. If I have to put people in stress relief, I can't afford the gold. Um, it's going to be a Harry. Harry bleeds for three. Yeah, it's going to be a Harry. Get some damage onto rank one as well. Sweet. Then I should just hands rush rank two. That should kill it. Stun rank one. Rush rank two. And then nuke down rank one. We shouldn't take any more hits. Yeah, looking pretty sweet. Not much point using the treats here. Even though I'm probably not going to use them anyway. It would be nice to have the option if things go south. That's when I'm going to need them most. That's when I'm going to regret using them early most. Uh, Harry, actually, yeah. Harry just kills it. Awesome. And finally, we get to cry havoc. That's pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. I do want both of these, but I don't want to... Fine. Fine. Or is it merely a trick of the light? I'd rather have the gold than the onyx. Much more likely to find gold again. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Maybe it's each battle? I'll take both. I've got plenty of I've got so much food. Health is not going to be a problem unless I get nuked down just by one guy. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. Um, just double checking. I've been known to make mistakes in the past. Okay. It may actually be here. No, we did scout this. Of course we scouted that. Did we scout that? Yeah, we did. <laughs> I think we did. I think, think, think we did. Oh, right. Okay. Awesome. I'll take it. So that was kind of anticlimactic. We actually made it work with, with three dudes because we only had a couple more fights. These foodstuffs yield double benefit. The town may eat and the swine will not. So yeah, I mean that, I'm not gonna say it went well. We did lose a dude, unfortunately, jail, but we got three level sixes with very little stress. All of this is fine. All of this is actually awesome. Fast healer is okay. I mean, it's better than nothing. Healing while camping is really important for home masters. Beast hater, that's absolutely amazing for the Warrens and the Wield. Bad Gambler is meaningless, basically. Quick Draw is amazing, and Lurker isn't even that bad uh, because our torch is really low. That was fantastic, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with that. It sucks that we lost Jail, but like I say, it's, it's gonna happen. We, we try and minimize it, but we, we accept it when we, when we have to. From those few surrounding farms as yet untouched by the spreading calamity. Okay, so supply costs 
Oh, so supplies are free and provisions are free. I don't know what the difference between those two things is. Maybe one of you guys can enlighten me. Let's check the Nomad Wagon quickly. We don't do it very often. We haven't really got the gold to spare anyway. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.